Hi everyone, in this video we will be discussing about Hugging Face. If you don't know about Hugging Face, Hugging Face is a platform. So with the help of this platform you can do Genetic BI project, you can do NLP project, even you can also perform computer vision related project. So here we are more focusing on the Genetic BI. So we'll be using this Hugging Face platform for the Genetic BI related task. So this Hugging Face platform is having all kinds of large language model, even it is also having so many data sets you can use to train this kinds of large language model and hugging face provides one pipeline so with the help of this pipeline you can easily perform any kinds of task and hugging face is also having one python library called transformer with the help of transformer library you can easily implement any kinds of genetic ai based project so let me show you this hugging face platform what are the things it is having so guys if you want to open the hugging face uh, platform just search for hugging face okay hugging face in google you will see this first link just try to open it up and make sure you create one account here so for me i already have one account so what i will do i'll just try to log in with my account so if you don't have the account you just need to do the sign up operation okay so with your email address you can also create an account so let me log in with my account so guys as you can see i already logged in with my account and this is the interface of the hugging face now as i already told you uh, hugging face is a platform so with this platform you can perform uh, lots of tasks you can perform genetic ai related tasks you can perform natural language processing related tasks even you can also perform computer vision related tasks okay even you can also do uh, audios kinds of tasks let's say you are having audio data okay you can also do this kinds of tasks in this hugging face platform okay now it is having actually different different services the first the very uh, popular services it is having called models that means this hugging face is having all kinds of large language model let me show you if i click on the model section now see it is having that many of model just try to see the count that many of models are available and these are the models are completely open source so you don't need to pay here okay if you want to use these are the model you don't need to pay here only you just need to use hugging face python library for this okay with the help of hugging face python library you can easily access these are the model even i will also tell you how we can access different different open source large language model and how we can implement different different application on top of it right now if you see left hand side it is having different different tasks you can select the multi-model that means if you want to generate image text to text if you want to do visual question answering if you want to do let's say document question answering if you want to let's say do a video text to text everything you can perform here then it is having computer vision related tasks you can perform object detection image classification image segmentation text to image okay all kinds of computer vision related tasks are available even now it is whatever multi-model you can see let's say uh, large language model will generate image large language model will generate videos these kinds of models are also available in this hugging face platform now you can see it is also having natural language processing related tasks that means you can perform text classification to token classification summarization feature extraction text generation code generation everything you can perform here okay apart from that i already told you it is also having some audios model let's you want to perform text to speech text to audio okay automatic speech recognition these are the tasks also you can perform here Apart from that, it also provides the tabular kinds of tasks. Let's say you can perform tabular classification, tabular regression, time series forecasting. These are the tasks you can also perform. Then they, they have added another amazing technology, the reinforcement learning. So those who are interested in reinforcement learning, you can also perform reinforcement learning operation with the help of Hugging Face platform. So it is having all kinds of reinforcement learning model. You can also perform something called graph machine learning with this Hugging Face platform. So here I'm not going to focus on all the actually uh, task here because we are more focusing on the Generative AI and for Generative AI actually we'll be more focusing on the NLP that means National Language Processing and we'll be focusing on the multi-model section okay because it is having different different large language model as I already told you. Now you can select any kinds of task let's say you want to perform let's say uh, this one you want to perform let's say a text classification okay just select the text classification. Now see automatically it will suggest you all the text classification related model. Now see these are the model from different different organization. See this model is from Meta AI. Okay Meta Meta Lama. See with the help of Meta Lama you can also do text classification and this is one of the large language model. It is having 86 million parameter and this is the download. See this is the that many times actually this model got downloaded. Okay so you can also start you can also download this model if you are uh, let's say you, I, you like this model you can also start this you can also like this even they have already given the model card let's say you want to read about this model like what this model can perform how many parameters it is having what kinds of data it got trained okay everything they have given okay everything they have given even they have also given the code snippet you can use okay let's say you want to test this model 
you can copy this code snippet and you can execute it here okay so it's one of the amazing platform guys if you are working in the field of generative ai so definitely you should learn the hugging face platform and no need to worry everything i'm going to teach you here so let me show you what are the things we'll be discussing here see inside hugging face actually hugging face we have to learn some of the very important concept the first concept we have to learn the pipeline because inside hugging face everything is all about pipeline okay whenever you will be using one python library of the hugging face called transformer okay transformers see transformers is the architecture but they have also named it as a library okay because it is having all the model which is based on the transformer architecture only so that's why they named this particular library as a transformer library okay so inside transformer library whenever you will be writing the code let's say you want to perform language translation summarization you have to create a pipeline for this okay so we have to discuss the pipeline then we'll be discussing different different nlp tasks you can perform with the help of this hugging face library then we'll be discussing very important concept called tokenization okay because in hugging face everything is all about tokenization so whatever pre-processing whatever text representation you have to do with the help of tokenization only then we'll be discussing about the data set like what are the data set it is having then we'll be also discussing about another super important uh, service called spaces let's say you don't have good configuration pc but you want to train one large language model so what you can do you can also take the hugging face spaces that means hugging face infrastructure but definitely you have to pay for this so there actually you can train any kinds of large language model okay and this machine is like very good configuration machine you can uh, take there then the fifth topic we'll be discussing about fine tuning okay fine tuning llm okay uh, with the help of hugging face that means we'll be learning how we can fine tune any kinds of llm okay with the help of hugging face platform then at the last we'll be seeing some of the project implementation okay so with the help of hugging face we'll be doing some of the project implementation that means we'll be doing text summarization language translation even we'll be also doing the research paper summarization so these are the project we'll be implementing one by one so i hope this is enough to know, know about hugging face and if you understand these are the concept definitely you can use hugging face platform um, if you want to build any kinds of application okay later on and trust me guys if you want to use open source large language model that means open llm okay open llm so hugging face is the only way okay you can use open llm okay hugging face is the only platform uh, it will help you to work with the open source large language model but if you want to work with paid large language model let's say if i want to take any kinds of commercial large language model that time you can use something called open ai okay open ai platform even there are some cloud platform as well let's say bedrock is there okay amazon bedrock is there then vertex ai is also there so we'll be also learning these are the things one by one no need to worry first of all let's try to understand the hugging face because uh this is the starting point okay this is the starting point in the field of generative ai so what i feel like yeah, if you want to understand the generative ai if you want to understand the large language model if you want to uh let's say use them as a practical so i will suggest first of all start with hugging face platform then try to learn open ai and whatever services you are having okay everything i'm going to teach you no need to worry okay so apart from that it is also having data sets guys as you can see different different data sets let's say uh, you want to train one language translation model so simply you can select the task here let's say i want to uh, do the language translation i select the task here so this is the translation now see these are the data related language translation okay see these are the data related language translation so it is having all kinds of language translation data you can see so see this data set is containing canadian actually text as well as the english text that means you can perform canadian to english otherwise english to canadian i think okay apart from that you are having different different data set even you can also search here if you want to let's say find any kinds of data set you can also search here it is also possible now apart from that you can also select different different libraries let's say i want to perform one task let's say i want to find a model let's say i want to perform something called uh, text classification now i want to use one specific library so see it is having different different library you can use pytorch then you can use tensorflow then you have uh, safe tensor okay then you are having keras different different library it supports let's say i want to perform with the help of pytorch okay pytorch framework so these are the model related pytorch so if you want to use these are the model you have to use pytorch code so similar wise if you want to perform with the help of let's say tensorflow you can select the tensorflow it will give you all the model related tensorflow that time okay that time you have to install tensorflow library okay not the pytorch library so that's how it has giving different different flexibility different different functionality so that you can filter out filter out the specific model filter out the specific data okay everything you can do here and it is having another uh, amazing service as i told you the spaces 
So spaces will give you, let, let's say, uh, this uh, infrastructure. If you want to train any kinds of large language model, you can use their spaces service. So there you can buy their instance and you can train your model. See, it is having different different spaces. Even you can, you can also create your own spaces. Now, apart from that, it is having another amazing documentation. Now, see, if you want to deep dive uh, in this Hugging Face platform, like how you can use this Hugging Face platform properly. So they are also having their official tutorials. If you just go to the documentation, so they are, they are having one... Uh, documentation and inside that you will get uh, one section called task now let's click on the task now see let's say i want to perform image classification task so i'll just simply click here now see it will give me the official tutorial so they have their all the youtube videos you can also refer the youtube videos even you can also refer their blog okay how we can perform the text classification that time sorry how we can perform the image classification so everything they have written here okay so this is one of the amazing actually let's say platform I personally prefer if I want to implement any kinds of project and if I want to learn anything that's I don't know about let's say zero shot image classification I will go uh, I'll come here I'll go to their tutorial section and easily I can learn okay how we can use this particular model okay so that's how actually you can also deep dive but if you cover this video I hope you will be learning everything about this hugging face platform but still if you want to deep dive you can refer their tutorial as well fine and if you want to take the premium subscription you can also see their uh, pricing and all you can also check it up but as of now premium subscription is not required we'll be using free services okay free services is enough for us because here we'll be only accessing the models data set okay these are the thing as of now i'm not going to take the spaces everything i'll be doing in my google collab because in google collab we'll be getting free gpus okay that is the idea so yes guys this is the introduction of the hugging face now i think you got it what exactly this hugging face is and uh, we saw like different different services of the hugging face now in the next video uh, we'll be doing some hands-on on top of the hugging face like how we can use the hugging face with the help of python programming So there we'll be installing one amazing library called transformer Okay, with the help of transformer we'll be using the hugging face and it is also give you the api functionality guys If you want to take the hugging face api key you can also take for this you have to go to the settings now here You are having something called access token. Okay, you can also take the access token So with the help of access access token also we can access the model Let's say some of the models you will be getting here those models actually you can't directly download for this you need this hugging face access token okay so we'll be also learning how we can use the access token to access any kinds of model and how we can generate these are the access token as well fine so yes this is all about from this video so let's connect in the next video and try to do the practical on top of the hugging face thank you guys